Welcome back. Now we will try to understand about digital image processing. As you know that uh, a digital image or a satellite image is made up of digital numbers or the digital values. So going by the definition, digital image processing can be defined as the computer manipulation of those digital values which I was talking about contained in an image for the purpose of why is it required for image correction for image enhancement to enhance the image to make it look good appear good and the feature extraction to extract some features out of that now uh, this digital image processing uh, mainly requires hardware and software now uh, why this digital image uh, processing is required now there are some errors induced at the at the time of data acquisition the, at the time data is acquired or data is uh, you know uh, it needs to be uh, restored so it compensates for data errors noise means missing data and geometric distortions induced in the images during acquisition and recording while those are uh, acquired um, uh, by the sensor or while being recorded on the sensor on the satellite platform now uh, so the second is uh, that it alters the visual impact and makes it more interpretable to the interpreter it enhances the image right uh, in other other way uh, other words uh, if we uh, want to inf uh, extract the information it uh, the information from the image Mm, needs to be extracted for efficient digital uh, you know decision making so if we are able to classify pixels based on their signatures that what is what we may be able to make a good decision uh, you know regarding any um, any any project where that digital data is being utilized or it uh, it is required for other purposes such as data merging or gis integration a hyperspectral image analysis image transmission and compression now the first stage of image uh, digital image processing is the image pre-processing which refers to uh, as image restoration and rectification that are intended to correct for correct for what sensor and platform specific radiometric and geometric distortions while the sensor at, at, at when the sensor captures the image and the platform on which the sensor is placed that the satellite some errors are in, induced we want to remove those errors uh, uh, with with the help of this image pre image pre-processing now these this image pre-processing is to be done well before the data is taken for main analysis and for the extraction of information now uh, uh, we uh, uh, there are two common types of errors encountered in remote sensing data one is radiometric uh, error and the second is geometric error uh, how these geometric errors are in, uh, induced these are indu induced due to the following reasons the perspective of the sensor optics the optic uh, the optics that is being installed on the sensor because it may be because of that it may be due to the motion of the scanning system it may be due to the motion of the platform that the satellite it may move unnecessarily creating geometrical error uh, it depend it may be due to altitude attitude and velocity of the platform that uh, with the attitude altitude and velocity that with which the platform is moving it, it may also geometric error may also be induced due to uh, terrain relief uh, and due to the curvature of the earth or due to the rotation of the earth now talking about radiometric errors these are induced due to the following reasons every object on the earth is not illuminated uniformly mainly due to the positioning of the sun uh, and if uh, it is illuminated sometimes due to the positioning of the satellite it doesn't get uh, you know received well uh, with the sensor of the satellite uh, number two the atmosphere uh, and the particles that are present in the atmosphere perturbs the signal before it is being received by the satellite so these are the common uh, things by which uh, radiometric errors are induced uh, 